Are you going already? Yes. I need to tell my dad and sister right away. I see. It will be a difficult task for you. It'll work out. Thank you very much for telling me about my mom. Please visit us anytime. We don't have much, but we'll always be happy to see you. I definitely will. She's a good kid. I can't believe she's your daughter. Something might have happened to you. I'm sorry for making you worry. So, where's Dad? Oh, welcome back. You seem to be doing fine. <gasps> when did you get there? I was here the entire time, long before you came through the door. Uh, oh. Setsi, is Dad? Yeah. Back to his old, unmotivated self. I kind of liked him when he was working so hard. Wait, no! I have important news about Mom! You found something out? I yeah but... I see. I guess she stayed the way she was until the very end. <laughs> Setsy, sorry. I shouldn't. I gave up long ago, so I shouldn't cry now. But... Going, Dad. I should tell Gerard, too. It'll take a while, so go ahead and rest up. Okay. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Setsy, please don't cry. You make me cry, too. Hey, Tultory! <gasps> Gino? Oh. Did I come at a bad time? No, it's okay. What's up? Well, we found this puny one on the ship. I didn't know what to do with her, so I brought her here. Puny one? Let go! Let me go! Piana? Why are you here? <laughs> I followed you. You know her? Yeah. She's from the village I told you about. You shouldn't have followed me. Everyone will be worried about you. You have to go back. No, I don't want to go back! Hey, stay still! Don't be so rough on a girl. What was your name again? Piana? Uh-huh. I'm Tetsi. Nice to meet you. Tetsi? <laughs> I guess it's a bit unique. Are you hungry? Would you like something to eat? Sure! I'll make you something right away. Wait just a bit. Tetsi? Are you sure? There's no point arguing over it now. We'll think about what to do once things calm down a little. Dinner! Dinner! <laughs> she reminds me of Tochiri when she was still small. Hmm. Is this gonna be okay?
Um, I want to talk to Piana. How about this ribbon, Piana? It's cute. Let me try it. Sure thing. Wow, it looks great. How about this one? It's Toturi's best dress. Sexy? What? I'm kind of busy, so can you bother me later? You're not busy at all! I gotta talk to her about serious stuff. Oh, just a little longer, okay? Besides, it's your fault because you don't let me dress you up anymore. My fault? Don't you have a job? Gerard is waiting for you. Whoops, I forgot. Wait, but... Hmm, I have to go out for a bit, Piana. Can we play some more later? Sure. Thank you. I'll be right back. Tolchery, you better not take Piana anywhere. I know. Just go. Uh, okay. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Oh, Setsy. I wonder if she's been lonely. I am out of the house a lot. What did you want to talk about? Oh, sorry. Well, does Pilka know you're with me? Nope, I came as a surprise. I knew it. Pilka and the villagers are definitely worried. You should go back and get permission before you... No, I'm not going back! Oh. Well, why don't you want to? Did you get into an argument with Pilka? Nope, I just don't want to go back. Why? If I stay at that village, I'll get gobbled up. Well, if you put it that way... I'm home! That was fast. You came back already? What about your job? He doesn't have customers anyway. It's not a big deal if I take a day off. Gerard said it's okay. I bet you sounded really pushy and he reluctantly said okay. Come on, Piana. We get to play all day today. Really? Yay! Oh. I guess this would take Piana off my hands. Anyway, Setsy, you're still here? Go adventuring or something, Tolchery. She's being real mean to me. Anyway, will you watch Piana for me? I don't mind. I actually welcome it. I figured. I'm going to the village to let them know Piana's safe. You should. I bet they're so worried because such an adorable villager just up and disappeared. I'm not going back! I know. I won't take you back. Can you watch over her for a bit? Leave it to me. What'll we play, Piana? Well, um... I'm not sure how I feel about this, but... Oh, well. I gotta go to Pilka's village. Well then, let's get this done! <laughs> Didn't feel a thing! Yeah! 
Wow! I won already? Let's begin. The Sword of Might! Yeah! Uh, what should I do? Oh, oh! It's time to end this! Uh, what should I do? Ah! That hurt! The Sword of Might! You should have expected this. Then let's get this done. Uh, what should I do? Uh, what should I do? No, I won't let you. Didn't feel a thing. Now then, let's get this done. Uh, what should I Stay do? Alert. Didn't feel a thing. Now then, let's get this done. Uh, what should I? Oh no, you don't. Didn't feel a thing. Uh, what should I Stay do? Alert. Feel a thing. <laughs> Didn't Ow! feel a thing. Mo, oh, you're back. How did your family take the news? My sister and dad were prepared for years, but my sister still cried. Bring your family here someday. I have other things I'd like to talk to them about personally. That sounds great. I'm actually here today for something else. It's about Piana. How is she doing? Is she proving too hyper for you? She's no trouble at all. It's like I have a new sister. Wait. You knew Piana snuck onto my ship? Of course. When a child disappears from a village as tiny as this, everyone realizes it right away. Besides, she disappeared the same day you left. I guess everyone would know, huh? Uh, anyway, what should I do about Piana? What do you mean? Do I have to bring her back? I don't know if it's causing anyone concern here because she's gone. As long as you don't mind, it's fine. Or does Piano want to come back? It's not that. She refuses to come back here. She said it's because... Go on. I won't mind. She said she'd be eaten eventually if she stayed at the village. Oh? Is that so? I don't think she's serious. You know how kids always speak their minds and don't really think about it. But it's a fact. Whether she understood the meaning is irrelevant. Aww. No one knows when it may happen. Perhaps ten years. Maybe fifty. So long as she remained here, it was an inevitability. If Gisela didn't come to this village, her life would have been already lost. This might be selfish of me, but... Can you watch over Piana? I have already lived long enough. I am ready to accept my destiny. But I can't bear to think one so full of life like her will die with me. Even if Piana is spared, you and everyone else will... You can't save everyone. Even if we choose to run away, someone else will take our place. I feel it is all worth it if at least one of us escapes this fate. I don't like it. I understand how you feel. We thought long and hard about it when we were still young. But 
We must accept this. Is that all you wanted today? W well, um... Hmm? I've been thinking, but what... What if I hunted down that devil myself? Huh? What are you talking about? But because if I defeat it, no one has to be eaten anymore. It's impossible. Not even your mother could defeat it. I probably can't alone, but I have lots of strong friends to fight with me. It's still impossible. You would be throwing your lives away. Well, you can't say that until we try. Fine, but understand no one knows when it will appear next. It may be 10 years, it may be 50. Are you going to wait here until then? We, we can go to it instead, to that tower. You can't. Why? No one can break the tower's seal from the outside. But there is one exception. So there is a way. How do I do it? You offer a sacrifice. Sacrifice? That means... That's right. Someone must die for you to enter the tower. That's terrible! Who would make such a thing? I don't know. I wasn't the one who made it. Now do you understand? Don't worry about us anymore. Just leave us be. You know I can't do that. Some things in life are inevitable. We're done here. I won't give up! I'll think of a way! She's stubborn, just like her mother. I think teacher is the only one I can talk to. It's kind of hard to say, but I gotta. What are you mumbling about? Something on your mind? Um, I want to ask you something. Me? What is it? I can't rely on anyone else. Aww, you say it like that, of course I'll help. What is it? Let teacher help you out. Thank you. might get eaten and uh, um should i explain it to you slower 
No, I'm absolutely fine. I totally understand completely. Are you sure? Aw, you're doubting me, aren't you? I get what's going on, honest. So what should we do, teacher? Oh, hold on. Let me gather my thoughts about the situation. Maybe I asked the wrong person. Okay. Okay, so that's why... Okay. So you just need to sacrifice someone to get into a tower and beat some mean old devil? Yes, I guess we need a sacrifice. It's to save the village. But we can't sacrifice someone because of that. Why not just get Pamela to do it? Pamela? Uh, of course not! Why would you suggest such a thing? Yeah, I guess that's cheating, huh? It's not about cheating! That's terrible! I thought you and Pamela were friends! Yep, we sure are! I bet Pamela would think it's a game or something and agree to it. Well, let's just try it out. If it doesn't work, we'll think of something else. If it doesn't work? Please don't treat Pamela's life like it's an experiment. I think it'll be okay, but let's go ask her anyway. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Teacher, please don't decide this on your own. You can't do this.
Glad to see you here. I figured you'd turn tail and run. You're the one who forced me into it. So how do we do this competition? There's nothing complicated about it. The judge will eat what we make and decide which one's better. Oh, where's the judge? By your feet. are brutally honest when it comes to food. Adults get logical and emotional in their critiques. Oh. I'm in luck, then. Jim might let me win. Don't be so confident yet. I made sure to give away some food every time Jim left your workshop. What? Is that true, Jim? Jim... Bad, Jim. You shouldn't take food from strangers. Come on. I'm your cooking teacher, and I'm a stranger to you? Oh, sorry. You've been acting like a villain. It's almost like you're being unfair. Say what you want. As long as the cook-off is on the line, I'll do what it takes to win. Maybe he gets like this when he's feeling competitive. He's normally so nice. Let's start. You mind if I go first? First one always gets the advantage. And he's being immature, too. Fine, do whatever you want. Feast your eyes on this. My masterpiece! Years of continual improvements have made this the perfect dish! Wow! That looks delicious! 
Eat up! Eat enough so you don't have any room left for Totori's dish. Lucky? Um, can I have some too? We're in the middle of a match! But it looks so good. I'll serve you some later, be patient! I'm trying to enjoy the tension of a serious fight here! Help me out! Tim... Huh? Whoa, you're done already? You ate all of it! Why didn't you... Oh, right. We're in a competition. Jim, are you full? Can you eat mine? Jim! Great. Here you go. This is my dish. <laughs> I only took a glance at it the other day, but it looks quite good. Really? I put a lot of effort into making it. Jim! Jim! Rush me like that. Here you go. Chew at least 23 times. Team. The moment of truth. Are you ready? Y yes. I wonder why. I didn't care if I won or not before, but now I really want to win. All right, kid. Proclaim your winner. Team. Feel down. Your dish wasn't bad. It was just one step short of beating your master and teacher. Then it's you. Jim, you don't get any dinner starting tomorrow. <laughs> don't be like that. Here's the recipe I promised you. Oh, you wanted to eat the dish I made, right? I'll make it for you right now, so cheer up for me. If it doesn't taste very good, I might never cheer up. I guarantee it'll be great. After all, it did beat yours. <laughs>